From childhood epilepsy to the deaths of loved ones, the cast of Pawn Stars has dealt with nearly insurmountable tragedies. Here are the stories you won't see inside the gold and silver pawn shop. The tragedy of losing a beloved family member comes with a specific sort of grief, and when that family member is a child, some wounds never heal. In 1967, the Harrison family lived a parent's worst nightmare when they buried their young daughter, six-year-old Sherry Joanne Harrison. Richard Harrison, better known to viewers as the old man, was famously a Navy man, and he revealed some surprising details about his service. After initially enlisting as an alternative to a jail sentence for stealing a car, he served his time, left the military, and only went back after his daughter's birth. Born with Down syndrome, Sherry's arrival brought such overwhelming medical bills that he re-enlisted in order to pay them. Although he said both in interviews and on the show that he ultimately enjoyed his time in the service and was proud of it, there's an undeniable shadow. In Rick Harrison's book, License to Pawn, he quotes his father as explaining, Joanne and I have been married for 51 years and there have been some ups and downs along the way. We've had our share of heartbreak. Little Sherry was born disabled with Down syndrome. She was the light of my life. While the Harrison family might be known for their pawn shop, that wasn't their first business. And that first business was the opposite of successful. It started when Richard Old Man Harrison got out of the Navy, choosing to retire after putting in his 20 years. He told the Navy Times, That's a lot of time. The only reason I got out was that I had three teenage boys and the wife couldn't handle them. That's the only reason why I got out. It was his wife who kicked off the family business, selling real estate and eventually forming her own company that supported the rest of the family. According to what Rick Harrison wrote in his book License to Pawn, it seemed as though it was going to be the family business. Things were great for a while, but suddenly business turned dire and they found themselves facing the fact that their livelihood was about to become non-existent. He wrote, All I can remember them talking about was the high interest rates, as high as 18%, and the complete shutdown of the housing market. They started losing money until they didn't have any more. It was 1981, and Harrison said that as the economy tanked and mortgage rates soared, they found themselves nearly bankrupt. With around $5,000 left, they headed to Las Vegas in hopes of finding something else. Rick Harrison was eight years old when he suffered a terrifying health scare. He wrote in his book, License to Pawn, All of a sudden, no warning, and without me moving, the floor became the ceiling and the ceiling became the floor. I was scared and confused and tired and just so damn scared. I got to my parents' room and knew from the looks on their faces that everything would be different from this point forward. Everything was indeed very different, and Harrison went on to explain that he began suffering from regularly occurring grand mal seizures, adding, They struck with such severe force that I accepted it as a given that I would not live into adulthood. I developed epilepsy when I was eight years old, and um, I'd have violent seizures. And I, literally, I couldn't get out of bed. Uh, I couldn't walk. Sometimes I couldn't walk for a week or two. Pulled muscles and constant pain left him unable to do much of anything besides read books from the library, and the terrifying experiences eventually led him to work with the Epilepsy Foundation. Austin Lee Russell is, of course, better known as Chumley, and in the years that Pawn Stars has been on the air, the fan favorite's fluctuating weights has been a topic of conversation. In 2021, he shared some details with TMZ, saying that he had undergone gastric sleeve surgery. He explained that he had been stuck in an up-and-down pattern in which his weight fluctuated by around 100 pounds, and he also shared that he had lost 160 pounds since having the surgery. I'm living much better, and I just have to make sure what I eat I don't deprive myself of anything, but if I want something that's not healthy, I just have a couple bites. He also said that he was doubling down on staying healthy, and that he'd been struggling with weight management for years. Back in 2013, he sat down for an interview with the Las Vegas Review Journal, and at the end of the interview, he mentioned that he was headed to the gym. He said he was making a conscious decision to exercise every day and being careful about what he ate. He also shared that he had a heartbreaking reason for being so health conscious, explaining, My dad died from pancreatic cancer at 54, two weeks before the show aired. I'm making sure I'm eating my vegetables and staying away from the red meat. Las Vegas might be known as Sin City, but as far as Pawn Stars producers are concerned, Gold and Silver Pawn needs to keep things family friendly. Olivia Black was a regular on the show and appeared in 13 episodes before she was abruptly fired. The National Enquirer found photos of her posing for a softcore porn site, and it wasn't long after the story ran that she got a call. She told Inside Edition, I got the phone call from the production company that I wasn't going to be on the show anymore. I was in shock. I was stunned. I began to cry. Black also spoke with Radar Online, condemning the entire thing and promising to follow up with legal action. She also clarified that she wasn't fired by the Harrison family or the pawn shop. They, she said, were fine with the choices that she'd made in her personal life, and that it was strictly the producers of the television show who gave her the axe. Following advisement that her firing had been a form of discrimination, she told Radar Online, I have been discussing with a few close people and we've begun talking to lawyers about exactly what grounds I have for a lawsuit. Rick, meanwhile, told Fox News that although she no longer worked at the pawn shop, Black had quit of her own accord. Fans have grown accustomed to seeing multiple members of the Harrison family making deals and pestering each other over the course of Pawn Stars. 
That was part of what made the show so big in the first place. And Richard Old Man Harrison was an instrumental part of it all. Where's my damn money? <laughs> When Harrison passed away in 2018, his obituary in the New York Times revealed that he had been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease and that it was ultimately the official cause of death. It was unclear how long he'd been living with the diagnosis. Tributes poured in with Rick Harrison writing on Instagram, he was my hero and I was fortunate to get a very cool old man as my dad. Chumley also posted a moving tribute to X, saying in part, he was such a big part of my life and treated me like family. I will miss him greatly and carry the lessons he taught me throughout my life. Oh, it can't be replaced. Cannot be replaced. There will never be another Richard Harrison. One surprising detail that may hint at some behind-the-scenes friction in the family came out on the heels of his tragic passing. Although he was lauded as a loving patriarch of the family, public details from his will revealed that although he mentioned his son Christopher in the document, it was to clarify that Christopher was to receive no part of the estate. It wasn't clear why he had been written out of the will, but it was apparently a revision that had been added the year before Harrison's death. While viewers might think of Pawn Stars as a family business, news that hit headlines in 2022 revealed that not everything was going smoothly for the Harrisons when the cameras stopped rolling. In a story initially reported by the Las Vegas Review-Journal, court documents had been filed alleging that although the death of Richard Harrison meant that 49% of the company passed to his widow Joanne, she had been essentially cut out. A lawsuit claimed that in addition to pushing her out of the financial loop, Rick Harrison was also being accused of convincing his mother to sign over a large portion of the shop to him. It was further claimed that he had taken advantage of his mother's hospitalization in order to get her to sign, and that the lawsuit was an attempt to put a stop to the use of funds. Even though the queen is super sweet, your mom deserves more than cake. A few months later, the case was back in the headlines. This time, Joanne Harrison was filing for a temporary restraining order against her son, with her attorney saying, while Rick enjoys his comfortable life as a celebrity firmly in control of all the family businesses and finances, Joanne is left frightened and unsure if she will have enough resources to pay for her considerable medical and personal expenses each month. Rick, meanwhile, issued a statement suggesting that someone was trying to exploit his mother. The case, and their estrangement, seems to be ongoing. The loss of a son is always devastating, and in 2024, TMZ announced that it had gotten a statement from a Pawn Stars representative explaining that Rick's son, Adam, had died, suddenly and unexpectedly, from an overdose. Rick Harrison wrote on Instagram, You will always be in my heart. I love you, Adam. The 39-year-old's death was investigated by law enforcement, and just a few days after his passing, Rick issued another statement to TMZ through a representative. In it, he revealed that the official cause of death was a fentanyl overdose. Although Adam did reportedly work at the pawn shop at some point, he was never featured on the show. Corey Harrison, Adam's brother, was among those to share tributes, posting a childhood photo of them together on his Instagram and writing, I will always love you, Bubba. 